Hey guys, got a uh, box turned up from Globite today, and it's my order, so I'm looking forward to this because this is my next season stock. So, let's see what I've got in here. And uh, see what's in here. Haven't really done much glow bike stuff recently. We're pushing my ju my my roots, but um, we need to get out for another hit on the glow bike gear and get some more footage. So, what better way to do it than get some gear? Okay, let's have a look what we got. All right, let's go have a look, mate. What we got, mate? Come in on this screen. Procure gel. Two sets of glow bike pliers. Now, the pliers, these are real cool because they're stainless steel, anti rust. I've got a clip in here which you can undo, opens up, and then you've got the split ring opener here. So, if you want to change your jigs, you can. And braid and mono cutters. They can take out light hooks, but don't recommend them taking out big hooks because they're quite light material. Um, but definitely, um, light gauge hooks will take out. But more as a tool for me, I use it more as a tool than a hook removal. Um, the pliers, pliers are a tool. We've got some uh, bloody tuna procure gel that goes inside all the jigs to give it a bit of scent over winter. If I'm going out, I won't put any of this in it because I don't want to attract the sharks. So no scent or no bait or burly, just lures down. Um, spring onwards, get that into it, ups your chances. What else we got in here, mate? Let's have a look. What's in the next box? Jack Flash. Now these are my favourite. I like these over the um, Grumpy Fish myself. So I've got a, a 100 gram blue there. I've got 60 grams minus two oranges. And another blue, the 60 for the light, light ones. They're really good. Um, it's empty. These are box fillers. That one is empty. Now the um, action one going over these. The action for these is a soft bait rod, let it hit the bottom, what you want to do is one big lift, drop real fast, so you get slack in the line on the top of the water, one wind, continue that, one wind, until it comes up about 10 metres, drop and go again. The thing with these is it's got quite a big pond curve in there which most don't have that deep, you can put Procure gel in it again, inside that dispenser, um, also um, obviously the glow white has the uh, flashing lights. But um, the cold curve creates a good flutter. So when you lift and drop and you do one wind, let it take the tension again. It will take a little while for it to take the tension. Comes up like a jig, goes back down. When it comes up, kingfish, snapper, um, car wide will hit them, um, bounce them on the bottom, gurnard hit them. They, oh, I'll tell you what, they're my favorite go-to jig if I'm actually actively jigging. The Jack Flash. Grumpy fish, I just got one. Now, I've got 100, because uh, generally that's the, um, the, the, the size I use and the currents that we have here, they, they do all sorts of different depths. And I got on fire orange, so just one color. The on fire orange is slaying it, so I got three of those. So that's the grumpy fish, obviously dispenser in there, two types of skirt, um, you've got the curly tail, for more than one knot drift, less than one knot drift, you've got the straight tail. Dinner bells, you've got the hook flies to bring the hooks up into the skirt, so when it's in the water it actually looks like that, like a fish. And you've got your scent, what comes through, makes it look like a wounded fish. Um, the light, imitating the stressed fish, fish of course. Fantastic stuff. These are good, you can either, the, the, the way to use these obviously is to use a uh, soft bait type rod or soapish rod. Real skinny tip, go to the bottom, slowly wind, as slow as you can, up about 10 metres, drop and repeat. You can do little lifts, if you're going to do little lifts, make them little. If you go up, stop, up, stop, you're going to make this thing look like it's jerking. You should look, try and make it look like a natural movement, so it looks like a natural wounded fish, that's what these do. My go-to with these, if I don't want to spend all the time with that, is wind it two or three winds off the bottom, sit in the rod holder, and the fix of the swell makes that lure work really well. And then I'm on the other side of the boat, using one of these, actively getting this in, in the water. That will still get hit in the rod holder, and this one here, I just love the hookups on those small little hooks. When you're doing it, it's like jigging, it's fantastic. And now what else, what's in here? Oh, these, these are good too. Um, I've got the, a couple of 60 grams um, Mango Tango color as well. So now I've got your green, your orange as well. So that, they're real cool, they're actually cool little color that. They've got some really cool different colors on them. Um, and then I've got the fleas. So my favorite, these things here are real cool. If there's not much current in, in the, um, Shallow waters, 
Uh, working like a soft bait, same action, char cast them out, little little tweaks as you do a wind up, get them back to the boat, recast, do the same. So a 230s and 220s got that one there which is a um, anchovy, great for when the white bait come in, they look like a natural sort of bait. They, they don't have lights but they have got a little dispenser in there, still flutter quite well with a deep curve and um, all owner hooks, fantastic hooks. And then I've got the Lumo orange, so this has got Lumo underneath and the orange which is also a favourite colour of um, most predatory fish so can't wait to get those out this way. And last but not least, my favourite, I call them Kingfish Candy, 300 grams, I got two pinks and two hyperpilly um, for the spring, I cannot wait to get these in the water, these are amazing and if you look at any of our videos where we're kingfishing we use these jigs, amazing. So there's your, your two hyperpilly, so it looks like a pilchard, looks like a pilchard colour there, flashing lights, they've got the pole curve there, um, the mechanical jigging, so when they go down they, they swish through the water like this, when they come up they're like a, like a knife, and um, they get hit on the way down and on the way up, and of course I've got the other colour there, which is a kingfish special, especially down Hunter's Bank, um, down here, they love the pink, so got white pilly and the uh, pink. So there you go guys, that's my um, my stock for the season to start me off in next spring. Winter I'll go out, um, won't put any Procure gel, that's basically dormant for the winter, won't use it, just attract sharks. Um, and then basically, come spring, summer, um, you're going to start seeing me with a whole lot of uh, stuff around the Globe White products. There's some soft baits as well, which I haven't got yet, I'll probably wait till summer before I get into that down here. But this will definitely be the ones that go in through the spring, end of winter, spring, come into that warm months. These are going to slay it. Blue and excellent. Cheers, see you on the water.